Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin with Tiny MC Editor and this is our part 5. In this video session guys, we are going to add a drop down to our Tiny MC toolbar. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress plugin with Tiny MC Editor. So basically what we have done so far, we have uploaded all the code to this GitHub link. You can download all the code from there. So basically if you go to our editor, sorry, our administrator panel, click on the post section, add new. Now inside add new guys, right now we have added three custom buttons to TinyMC toolbar. Something here, something here and finally here. Okay, OWT pop-up. This is developed in our previous video session. So we want that we are going to add a drop down right here like here as we can see here is a drop down. Okay, so we want to add a drop down by a custom toolbar buttons and add our own functionality. So just back to editor. So if you go to folder structure, this is the two files that we have developed inside our plugin. This is the main plugin file and this is JavaScript file. So we are working on this JavaScript file called editor.js. So first of all, let's add the drop down button by the help of this main plugin file. So we are going to add a key for that. So just copy this text, paste here. And let's say that editor drop down because we are going to add a drop down. So first of all, we have to specify a key name for that button. And this actually function is attached by using filter who called MC buttons. So just copy this key, save this file, go to editor.js file, and now we are going to add a drop down. So let's say that adding drop down to tiny MC toolbar now let's define about the structure of that drop down so editor dot add button inside this add button first we have to pass the key so this is the key called editor drop down next parameter we have to define an object inside this object we have to write some of the properties for our drop down so let's say that first parameter I'm going to pass something called text so let's say text let's say that OWT drop down in the second parameter I'm going to pass something called tooltip so tooltip this is a sample drop down okay next we're going to pass a new parameter new property inside this object to make our button as a drop down list and something called type so inside this type i'm going to pass called menu button this is used to make our button into a drop down so this property is very useful inside this object Okay. Next, we have to define that what values actually we are going to supply for our drop-down list. Means what are the different values we want to for our drop-down list. So this will be defined inside menu property. So we are going to specify number of values inside this drop-down list. So we have to make array of object. Okay. So objects. So inside this array, simply we have defined that. Inside this array, we are going to define our object. So this is the first object that we have created. So I'm going to pass some of the parameters, some of the properties inside this object. So let's say that text. So this is for the first drop down value. So let's say sample one value. This is first value or let's say that OWT plugin development. This is our first value. So again, copy this, paste here. And let's say that OWT theme development just I'm going to copy again and paste here let's say that OWT sort codes development just again copy that if I scroll down OWT Vue.js development so if I save this file just go to browser reload this section 
So now as we can see that guys here we have created a drop down. This is our tooltip where we have put about the value called this is sample drop down. So if I click on this drop down as we can see that here we have four different values called OWT plugin development, theme development, shortcuts development and Vue.js development. Now next, what we want from this drop down? We want that if someone selects any value from this drop down, if I click on that, I want that that value actually will be inserted inside this editor. So how can we insert that value means that selected value to this editor? So just back to editor. For that, we have to specify one more property inside each object and what are what is actually what is that property property is simply called on click because we are if we want to click on this value we want that this text should be inserted to our editor so let's say that on click basically it's a function inside this function we are going to insert that text inside our editor so we are going to add another pro method of editor something called editor dot let's say insert content this is method used to insert our content inside editor so inside this we have to pass some value so this is the value we want to insert so copy that let's say that if anyone wants to insert any value to editor this is the value actually we want so if I save this file go to browser reload this section now if suppose I am going to select value called OWT Vue.js development. So if I click on that, nothing happens. And this is because as I think that actually we have implemented the onclick functionality with our first menu. Okay. So if I just, if I click on this first menu OWT plugin development and this is the value. Okay. Right now there is no functionality implemented with theme, shortcodes and Vue.js development. Okay, so just back to editor. So let's attach on this on click event with all the values that we have seen. So this is for the theme development, theme development again for the shortcodes development. So let's say shortcodes development. Finally, we have called Vue.js development. So let's attach that value. So far, so let's change that. This is for the theme, this is for the shortcodes. And finally, this is for the Vue.js. So if I save this file, again I'm reloading this page. So if I click on this, any value from this list, say let's say OWT Vue.js development. So let's, this is a sample playlist. This is a good playlist to learn Vue.js from scratch. Okay. Next, we want that. Next, we want that we are going to insert the, our next value inside the second line. So, clicking on this drop down, this is shortcuts development. So, this is also a good tutorial. So, these are the values actually, guys. We are going to select. We are selecting from this drop down list. So basically, so far we have made this drop down list. We have actually put some of the on click event to our tag section. So next, what we want, we want that actually we have written all these values as a static message inside insert content. Means when we click on this OWT plugin development, we are going to insert this static message on this editor insert content. So actually, this does not we want. We want that. If I again actually implement or add a new property inside this list, let's say value. So this is the value we want. So let's click that. Paste here. If I just change this text, let's say plugin development. This is a text and this is the value. So we want that we need to insert this value, not this text value. So what we have to do, we have to insert this value. So just I'm going to remove this text from here and let's say that this dot value. Again, I'm doing same thing for this theme development. So let's say that value. This is our value. So copy that, paste here and just remove OWT from here. And let's say that instead of this static message, we want something dynamic value. So this dot value 
doing same thing for our sort course development so let's say that value if I copy this message from here paste here just remove OWT and finally make it as this dot value this dot value actually refers it will call the value property of this object so remains unchanged for this Vue.js so if I save this file go to browser reload our section so if I clicking on this drop down ok we have some error so back to editor inside that we have errors and array something like that here we have to put actually a comma here because this is another property we have added so right here a comma so if I save this reload this page now as we can see here we have a drop down so if I click on any values right now here is the value called plugin development theme development and sort codes development this is due to our tax property so if I click on theme and now this is the value so by selecting any text value actually we have rendered our value for this text so successfully guys we have seen about the demonstration of that how can we add a drop down to our tiny MC toolbars as well as we handle about the on click event for these drop down values. So if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day.